Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining us in the presentation of our poster on Turner Syndrome Guideline Compliance Quality Improvement Initiative. Turner Syndrome is a genetic condition associated with lifelong multi-organ comorbidities that necessitates standardized screening guidelines to avoid undue morbidity and mortality. However, previous studies of guideline compliance have shown a majority of patients with Turner Syndrome are not receiving all of the recommended screening. A two-year retrospective evaluation of 111 Children's Mercy patients with Turner Syndrome was conducted between 2018 and 2020. This study showed that 90% of patients were meeting all of the evaluated 2016 Cincinnati Turner Syndrome consensus guideline screens. On further analysis, it was found that six screens in particular, those of hepatic profile, gamma glutamyl transferase, vitamin D, electrocardiogram, developmental evaluation, and audiogram cumulatively accounted for over 80% of missed screens, averaging 1.97 missed screens per patient. See Figure 1. Based on this data, a quality improvement initiative was developed with the aim of reducing the average number of missed screens per patient from 1.97 to less than 1 by March of 2021. To address this goal, a root cause analysis and retrospective chart review was conducted and identified two targetable areas for intervention. These included underutilization of an established but outdated order set for Turner Syndrome and provider unfamiliarity with the most recent updated guidelines. <clears throat> Interventions were developed and included updating of the order set with the new 2016 guidelines, development of guideline-specific smart phrases for the electronic medical record, and staff education on the updated guidelines, the new order set, and smart phrase tools available through both email and division meetings. Compliance reports were generated every two weeks with results plotted on the run chart to monitor screening compliance and order set utilization. See figure two. Descriptive statistics were used to report our findings. The results showed that the average number of missed screens per patient decreased from 1.97 per patient at baseline to about 1.52, a 23% a reduction, see figure two. Sub-analysis showed an average of 0.75 missed screens for those in whom the new order set was used compared to 1.84 in those whom the order set was not used. Overall compliance for all six screens was 62.5% in those in whom the order set was used, compared to 15.8% in those in which the order set was not used, and 29.6% overall. Order set utilization was low, less than 30% overall. In conclusion, the reduction in the average number of missed screens following the implementation of the new order set and provider education suggests that these interventions can be effective tools in improving Turner Syndrome screening compliance. The limitations of an inherently small patient population in frequency of visits and relatively short time frame of the study makes distinguishing incremental improvement from normal variation difficult. Further improving order set utilization and provider participation, in addition to the automation of the semi-annual reports, remains key to sustainability and improving outcome measures. Improving utilization and optimization of these processes has the potential to result in earlier comorbidity diagnosis, intervention, and improved quality of care. This model of the order set optimization and provider education is easily adjustable and has the potential to be disseminated to other institutions and clinics. Thank you for the opportunity to present our findings at today's conference. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions or comments you might have.